So I'm going to show you how to make Yoda. This is what the finished product should look like. You're just going to take a 260 and you're going to do a large pinch twist. And then you're going to follow it up with a half inch pinch twist. So what you've got is you've got two pinch twists, a larger one and immediately followed by a smaller one. And I'll just show you this is the mouth and the nose that you've made there. Now what you want to do is you want to immediately follow that up with four bubbles all exactly the same size. I'll make them three fingers width. Obviously if your fingers are fatter or thinner than mine then you might want to change that. But that's how I measure it. So you've got four bubbles all more or less the same size. Just bring them round and just twist them in just like that. So what you've got is the mouth, the nose and then you've got the top part of the head. This time we're going to come off to the side and we're going to make the, uh, the sort of the eye hole sort of area. So just giving it a little bit of a squeeze. Again I measure three fingers width and then straight away followed up by a half inch pin twist. Three fingers again and then I'm just bringing that back onto the one that we just did. So if you remember that was three fingers, pinch twist, another three fingers and then back into those pinch twists where your nose and mouth is. And you can see it's starting to get the shape of Yoda. So on this side again, three fingers, a pinch twist, three fingers again, and then I think that one needs to be a little bit bigger. Then again, back into those pinch twists. And then we're just gonna break that off. So now we've got the front part that way up of Yoda's head. Now the ears and also the back part of the head. So what we're going to do From one of the sides, I want to hide the knot at the back, so I come through, I wrap it around a pin twist and then go back through. So basically what I've done is I've, I've hid the knot of the balloon and also the nozzle of the balloon at the back. Then I want to do is decide how big I want his first ear to be. So. I'm going to say maybe about six fingers. Now I don't put a pinch twist here, I just immediately do another bubble. The same size as the first one. And that's the first ear. Now remember these four bubbles that were made in succession, we're going to do the same going the opposite way around the head. So again it was about three fingers and we're going to do another section of four bubbles. My apologies, we only need two bubbles for this. I confused myself, and then that just goes round to that pin twist, so you end up like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go over the top of the head 
because we're going to go that way we'll have to go around the back and we need to go over the top as well so this time it's definitely four bubbles this time so again three fingers width for each one and we need four of them definitely four this time so you can see Yoda's head there the first bubble and then the twist goes into that top bit and it should just sit nicely over the top there like that the second twist after the second three finger bubble is going to go around the pinch twist where we've made the ear And this is now the underside of the head. That goes into there. And then the final piece goes round that final pinch twist. And you should be able to see the shape of Yoda's head there now. Okay, so for the final ear, so what did we do? We did six fingers. Same again. I've got a good few wrapped around, make sure it doesn't come undone. And then to break it off. Let's be super sure. Uh, this is a letter opener I got in a stationery shop. It's just got a little blade in there and you can't cut your fingers on it. Little tip there. Okay, so hopefully that should now look like Yoda's head. Obviously we haven't got the eyes in yet. But that is obviously the most complicated bit of this model. It looks a lot more complicated than it is because obviously you're just going round lots of different ways and there's lots of bubbles. Uh, but I hope that was clear. What we'll do is we'll move on to the body, the jacket and the hands and the feet now. I'm going to do the legs and the body using a dark brown balloon. Um, so we'll start off with a pinch twist. And decide how long you want his first leg to be. I'm going to cheat and I'm going to measure on that one. So I think about there. And then what we're going to do, that pinch twist has come undone. It's okay, I'll put it back in a minute. We're going to do two pinch twists here. We'll cross in a minute. We're going to attach his feet. So there, that's going to be this part here. Uh, I'll just put that pinch, pinch twist in. Hopefully it'll stay in this time. It doesn't matter, I mean I'm, in a minute I'm going to come back up and it'll be nice and secure then. Uh, I'm going to do something slightly different here because when I made this model I broke it off and then I made the second leg. This time I'm just going to put a small bubble in the middle it's just to help keep these feet together because what I actually did on this model is I tied a, uh, a scrap round the bases to keep the feet together even though I did a bubble in between the feet. It doesn't matter, it'll make sense in a minute. So again, two pinch twists. And so there we've got, if I can measure this, so the two legs are the same size. I'm going to do another pinch twist there. And then... Two legs, actually. I'm going to adjust that. 
That must have hurt me. Can I put one of the legs? Is a bit longer than the other. Just going to undo that. You want to decide how big you want Yoda's body to be, and again, I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to sort of measure here, and you want to make two pinch twists. Uh, slightly smaller pinch twists this time. I made the ones at his waist a little bit larger than half inch, but I'm going to go back to half inch pinch twists here. So all we've done is we've uh, started off with a pinch twist, we've come down for one leg, we've made a double pinch twist, we've made a little bubble to keep the legs together in the middle, followed by two pinch twists, the other leg keeping it the same, another pinch twist, front and back of the waistline, decide how big you want the body to be, two pinch twists, and then we've broke the balloon off. So what we're going to do now using a mocha brown we're going to put two half inch pinch twists and that's going to be the sleeve of the first arm decide how big you want the arm to be ever so slightly bigger than that because we're going to lose some in the jacket. Let's just have a little cheat again. It's there, why not use it? Okay, so this is how we make the jacket. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to do this on the opposite side to where the arm was. And I'm going to make this bubble roughly the same size as what the body is. And I'm going to wrap that into these two pinch twists, which are the waistline. And then I'm going to come back up. We're going to make the back of the jacket. And then, uh, once more, then what we'll do is we'll do the same for the opposite arm. And then wrap that round. Break it off. Okay, so what we'll have now. the right arm and the left side of the jacket. Now we're going to do the same, we're going to do the left arm and the right side of the jacket using another blush. So we're going to start off with the sleeve, we're going to make two pinch twists, there's one sleeve, Probably a good idea for both arms to be the same length. Let's give that a little squeeze first. And now it's just three bubbles. Get 
that one a little bit shorter. I don't think if I put another bubble on we're going to lose the front half of his body so in, on this occasion we've only gone around one two three four five times on this one I went around six times just seems to be the way it worked out okay let's get this uh, good wrap around make sure it doesn't come undone Push the arms down in between those bubbles like that, and you can see how it's working out there. So it looks like he's got a jacket on and he's got a different colour on underneath. Okay, so we're going to make a hand now, and I'll tie this on first. Maybe uh, just ever so slightly less than four fingers. Ever so slightly less. Just to give him a bit of a thumb, just make a small bubble like that. Break it off. Just tie that into a knot. And for the opposite hands, I'm just going to tie this off. Do the same on the opposite side. So obviously you want both hands to be the same size, so again just ever so slightly less than a four finger bubble. It's not quite as small as three fingers width, but it's not quite as big as a four finger bubble. So I'm sorry if that is a little bit confusing, but So same again, that's your second hand, but you want to give him a little thumb, so just a small bubble. Break it off. And now you have two hands, a body, some legs, a jacket, and a head without eyes. But That'll be coming up in a minute. Uh, we need to do the feet and I need another green. Need to inflate this one. It doesn't matter how much air you put in because you're not actually going to use it all anyway. You're only going to use a little bit. Now the pinch twists at the bottom. Remember each one's got a double pinch twist there. So just decide which one you'd like to do first, it doesn't really matter. Now you want to give them a small ankle. I'm going to wrap that one again so I want to tighten up against this. Uh, you want to give them a very small ankle, so maybe ever so slightly not even that, maybe one finger width, followed by a half inch pinch twist. Four finger bubble, followed by another four finger bubble, 
Nearly lost the head. No, that nearly lost his head. Uh, a small bubble, same as what you did for the connecting bu bubble for the bottom of the pants. Just going to do the same again there. Actually, no, we're not. I told you I'd change the bottom of the design a little bit. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to wrap that round again. I'm going to break that off. Select some air out. And we shall attach this balloon to the double pinch twist on the opposite leg. Because on this one I did the connecting bubble with the feet, on this version I did the connecting bubble at the bottom of the pants. Ah, it doesn't really make any difference which way you do it to be honest. No doubt I'll develop the design a little bit more and then I'll decide that it must be done one way but for now we'll see it doesn't matter. So four finger ball. So sorry just to talk you through that again. One finger bubble followed by a half inch pinch twist. Now I'm doing a four finger bubble followed immediately by another four finger bubble which then Pulls back down onto itself and goes into the pinch twist, which sort of acts as the heel of Yoda's foot. got his body, we've got his head, I'm going to attach the eyes now. This is a 160 white, I'm sure you can see it's white. Just in case you can't tell, I'm using a 160. No doubt you probably could use a 260 if you don't have any 160s, just don't inflate it all the way. It's nice and soft so you can make it a little bit thinner. Okay, now remember when we're making the eye sockets we did three finger bubbles or thereabouts. We want to do about the same for this and the two pinch twists that we did first, the big one and the little one, that just wraps around them like so. Same again on the other side for three finger bubble. And this goes into the pinch twist where the ear is. Take it off. Wasn't me. Okay, so we now have Yoda with eyes. Now we're going to have to attach the body to the head. Take a scrap of green. And all I'm going to do, go to the go to the bottom of the head where the bubbles cross here. Feed it through. Now, I tied in a knot. I'm sure if you just wrapped it round it would be alright, but I tied in a knot. It's up to you what you want to do. So now you've got this to wrap round your double pinch twist, which is where you does neck would be, or the collar.
break off the bits and pieces here, make them look nice and neat. And there you have Yoda. Uh, obviously you might want to put artwork on, and I recommend that you do. Draw his mouth on and what have you. I also put him on a Geo Blossom as a stand. The way that I do that is I take a scrap, I tie it in a loop. The pinch twist that I use for his heel, it wraps around there, it goes through the middle of the Geo Blossom, and a lollipop stick. So that's how you make him stand up on the Geo Blossom, and that's how you make Yoda. <laughs>